Good morning from a rather busy Class 185 PPE service. We are on our way to a station known as Cottingley. We've had a bit of a tricky time getting onto this train. What's been going on? Why are we filming the intro on the train in the first place? Well, we were meant to like, have a one minute connection, which we thought we weren't going to make, but this train was delayed, so we, we managed to make it. So we're filming it here instead of at Leeds station. But... Yeah, so it's, it's literally a five minute trip from Leeds to Cottingley. So uh, yeah, we're, we're using our time very efficiently. <laughs> And I'm rocking the TP t-shirt on a TP train. Why very not? fitting, very fitting, nice. That's not odd. Go there. <laughs> right, we are approaching Cottingley now. Let's get off. It was kind of luck of the draw we were in the right carriage for that. It was only the front four. <laughs> yeah, we, we were okay, thankfully. So, right, well, here we are at uh, Cottingley. Hey. Or, uh, well, Cottingley. <laughs> Much bigger sign here. A uh, station that is soon to no longer be. So one thing odd about this station is it's managed by Northern, yet Northern only really calls here like three times a day. It's mainly TP that calls here on the Saltburn to Manchester airport. Ooh, Northern. Oh, Northern. hello. <laughs> Sorry. <We're> being interrupted. <laughs> <laughs> interrupted by a 158. No way. <laughs> <laughs> so as I was saying before I was interrupted, uh, mainly TP that calls here on the Saltburn to Manchester Airport services. Another thing to note here is these little um, notices that have been put on the uh, station, which is basically notifying of the closure of this station, which is like a legal thing they have to do whenever a station is proposed for closure, so that the public can be aware and voice their disdain if they so fancy. <laughs> but as of yet, it's pretty much sealed, the, this station will be closing once White Rose opens. So, we're getting it while we can. Well, there's another TPE service going the other way. There's a few passengers here using the station, but not that many by the looks of things. So this station did open in 1988, and it's going to be closed in most likely 2024. It was actually meant to be 2023, but I guess delays in White Rose being opening has caused it to be 2024. But 36 years, that's actually quite young in station terms. Oh well, of course though I can't actually leave the place without getting some sort of souvenir, so I'll get myself a uh, promise to pay from this station, because why not? Right, a uh, Cottingley to Huddersfield promise to pay. You soon won't be able to get one. There we are. Wonderful. So I suppose it would only really be appropriate if we walked to the station that is going to replace this one. Shall we walk to uh, where White Rose will be? Let's do it. Let's go. All right, so we need to cross over the footbridge. So I guess we can sort of get to the other platform as well. I wonder uh, what this, 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 this thing's doing here when there's no fence there. Strange. So the main reason for this station is closing is because it's apparently not located very well, but like it's kind of like in the middle of a residential area. So obviously for these people who live here, it will be a bit of a pain for it to close. However, the new White Rose is opening in like a retail area. So it, I guess you have got hit and miss of which one's better. Ooh, water. How nice. Well, this area actually feels quite nice. I like this little suburb. The sun's very bright, though. So you say White Rose is about a 20-ish minute walk from Cottingley? Yeah, about. Yeah, that's not too far then, sure. I guess it kind of, does kind of suck for the people who live here, though, who then will have a sudden 20 minute walk now to a station instead of it being right at their doorstep. Ooh fancy little viaduct. That's nice. There's a very strange smell of burning plastic around here, probably due to these industrial buildings, I'd imagine. It's definitely a bit of fun trying to navigate industrial estates. Everywhere looks like a dead end and... Oh god. We do have a sort of backup route though, if uh, this one doesn't work, but uh, 
Yeah, because there's, there's a gate all the way down there, so I hope we don't have to turn after it, because then we'll have to divert ourselves a bit. Well, it looks like we're able to see maybe a tiny glimpse of the station, but we can't really seem to get further than here. So we may have to find somewhere else to get a little bit closer. <laughs> yeah, I do think that is part of the station down there, but we can't go past this gate, so uh, we'll do a little uh, move around, try and find a different location. Right, well, here is our uh, plan B route. We're, yeah, <laughs> we're hoping it connects up. If not, we'll just oh, enjoy some time in the retail park. <laughs> yeah, why not? Ah, White Rose Park. Well, that's a good sign. This video has very quickly devolved into a bit of a wild goose chase, but hey, I guess, <laughs> I guess this is part of the fun. Why not? Ah, train. I guess we're in the right direction. <laughs> Let's go at least. Path's getting a bit narrow and treacherous to get through. The things we go through for content. This path should, though, hopefully get us to fairly near White Rose Station. There's so many branches everywhere, oh god. Well, this is gonna suck to get through. Oh well, wish us luck. Definitely a little overgrown, but we are determined. And it looks like this is the furthest we can go. But the station is right up there. Not bad, honestly, not bad. So yeah, there it is up there. White Rose Station, which is due to, I think it still says it's due to open in early 2024. Hello, quick unexpected visit from future Nick here. Um, so an update to that information, between the time of me filming and the time of me editing, construction of White Rose has actually been temporarily suspended due to an unforeseen increase in costs and is now expected to be probably late 2024, early 2025. So, uh, yeah. Um, there's still no indication of an exact date yet, um, but, so hopefully it shouldn't be too long. But yeah, so, it looks pretty nice and large, so that's quite cool. But either way, there you have it. White Rose, the station that is going to replace Cottingley. Now, I would kind of like to get out of this uh, random corner I've got myself into. Nat was smart about it, she waited all the way down there. Now I've got to wade through all of this overgrowth. <laughs> Fun. This is actually quite a nice part of the footpath. Like, I hope they extend this to the station so that it's actually get easy access to the station from the retail park. So, the White Rose Station, like, it has to be in the place it is because it couldn't be any further down this way towards the retail park because it's on a curve so obviously there would have been large gaps between the platform and I suppose access. modern accessibility regulations yeah. I imagine and then yeah. the other way you have a viaduct so obviously that causes issues so it has to be where it is but we'll see whether it actually works out to be any of any use when it eventually opens and we go to it sure You can actually see the station from this bridge too, just over there in the distance. I mean, it's quite far away from here, but yeah. So I guess this is a sort of alternative view. All the way over there in the distance, White Rose Station. But yeah, so that's basically about it. There's Cottingley, the station that's about to close, and White Rose behind us there, the station that is going to replace Cottingley. Unfortunately, we don't have any early access to the station, so we're gonna have to wait until the station opens before we can properly go and explore it, but I think this will do for now. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you liked it, leave a comment, subscribe, like the video, all that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye. Oh wow, Nick, uh, what a so, lovely shirt you have. We haven't had a chance to point it out properly, but. Oh yes, yes, ah. it's, a, it's a great <laughs> shirt, yeah. I like it. Sounds great. <laughs> Anyway, yes, massive shout out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. Thank you very much for supporting the channel.